Okay. Welcome back. Is everyone BRB? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you for allowing me to make a perfect VOD cut. Because this is the end of the chapter. Oh. It's very clear we're probably going to come back to uh, Phoenix and Maya with uh, the issue that we came to the revelation of we're in a uh, we might have given Dark Claw the oh. thing she needed. Oh, right. That fucking... Yeah, the That bell fucking was... girl is there. Yeah, and the bell. Oh, and she was up... Right. And mm -hmm. she was up... Yeah, mm -hmm. that... yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, uh... <sighs> that means that Dark Claw is bizarre. But why? Why would he do that to his own daughter? It's a very good question. Do I have the answer for it? No. I don't even know if we know we have, we probably don't. There seems to be a lot of presumpt presumptuousness. Gun says he's looking for something, Hunter. <laughs> there. Okay. I have food. So now we're getting to the good versus part, huh? Yes. Is this the last chapter? I, I don't really know. It might be the last one for gameplay, but I think there's an epilogue chapter or two or three. The book will live on, you say. Gun, please! Hey. Isn't it funny that both of the epilogue, the, the prologue takes place before either character enters the book? Because it's a two-part uh, prologue. I said epilogue. I meant prologue. Two-part prologue? What if the epilogue also takes place outside of the book? Which means the only real chapters are inside the book. Mm hmm Which makes sense, because it's a story. It's a was, story! I, I've come around a bit to the story of this game a little bit, not going Look, away. look, I was telling chat yesterday, when I was, when I was, when we were raiding. The middle of the story makes no sense. It's a lot of, yeah. They do things that are convenient for the plot, but it doesn't make sense normally. No. Why have the accused walk around the fucking courthouse? Doesn't make sense. Well, at least we know what the versus part means now. <clears throat> I thought it was just puzzles versus court. No. Now it's court versus court. I was about to say, Phantom was on prosecutor before I remembered he was Gavin. Gavin! Were you Gavin. Were you or Gavin? Yeah, I was Claudia. BRB, you gotta use the restroom. Which then he wasn't one. He... No, he doesn't. Which means I think I know what uh, Crowley's gonna be getting in the next game. Maybe, potentially. Hmm.
Ah, that was good. <clears throat> that taco was also good. Oh. Artifacts, how he was doing? Huh? Oh, what? he needed to get dinner too, but uh, you know, with his living situation, he has to go across the across yes. the way. <laughs> yes. So he's probably still gonna be a little bit. He might be back. I am back with food. Oh my right god. You and we're gonna want to take a piss. Why well, yeah. then? Well, you took too long. I told you I went to go get dinner. It was a very long walk. Relatively long walk. I had to feed the cat. Well, I don't want the cat peeing on my carpet. Okay, I'm good. I got work tomorrow. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Here, Mike. Sip out a cup like a gentleman with his pinky out. <laughs> when in doubt, pinky out. Here you go, buddy. It's filled to the top. Now you can have some. I'm gonna refill my, wa my, my water. Because I have a big old thing of water here. Because fuck keeping going up and down steps, dude. My heels bothering me today. I don't know why. Oh, because we were putting the uh, putting the lasso decorations upstairs. Probably that probably would do it. That would, in fact, do it. <clears throat> decorations? Yeah, usually we would have the Christmas decorations away by now. Uh, but um, we didn't. And fair enough. And things were happening, and my sister came today to help me. Yeah, I have some water. Agua? Because mm. he, had, he had some of my food, too. All right, you good? No, I have want some water? more, mother. Please, mother. Can you, can you last another hour? No, mother. I need more. You were, doing, you were doing so good with Raid yesterday until like the last ten minutes where you started crying and everybody heard you. <laughs> Are you dying of an illness, mother? <clears throat> I yeah. demand that you feed me. Yeah, we were in the we were in the, we were in the tail end of raid and the next thing I hear is arr, arr. Wow. I'm like, honey, not now. <laughs> like, me. what's the matter? I gave him some of my food, he's good. Oh no. Uh, no, uh, honey! Uh, ball time! <laughs> oh, no! no. Ball time! Girlfriend time. No, not, no. It's not, it's, it's not the girlfriend. It's just a ball. No, ah. I got it. If you would skedaddly do, I would get it for you. I see. Go get it. The affair. Oh, my God. No, I, I, hid, I hid his girlfriend because I don't want it. No, but he's having an affair. No, he's not that excited about this one. You ready? Go get it's it. Platonic. It's purely a platonic ball relationship. Let me tell you though, before he got a uh, spade, whatever the fuck it is, neutered, whatever. He, mm -hmm. we, we, we got that one ball for him, and he would play it and rub it underneath of him. Oh lord. And he get really excited, if you know what I mean. Oh lord. So, so we call that his girlfriend for a reason. Yeah. This is not his girlfriend for that obvious reason. <laughs> That's the story of his girlfriend. Gross. Can I, can I wash, can I, not wash my, can I, back. can I wipe my glasses, Welcome please? Back. I, I need to wipe my glasses. Stop it. Stop it. Cease. No. Cease your squeaking activity right now, mister. No. All right, like well, this is going to suck. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have to mute. Because, you know, Mom said that she was going to be home today. Was not. Was not. Funny little lie. Yeah, well, this is what I have to deal with now. Because I knew it was going to happen. 
She said she'll be in tomorrow. Ha ha ha. I just got to be by himself for like four hours. That's not going to be cool. The last Inquisitor. Wait a minute. The last Inquisitor? I'm an Inquisitor. Oh no. Oh god. All right. Horde is now once again in session. We we'll probably have brought her down at this point. Yeah, you... <laughs> well, I must say, I'm quite surprised at the recent turn of it. Yeah, what well, was her name? Kira? 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 Kira. Kira. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. To see Miss Kira at the witness stand once again, <laughs> frankly, I cannot believe my eyes! Yeah, I don't think she can either. Yeah, we... Go. You if fire doesn't actually <clears throat> kill witches, we're gonna really have to rethink this whole thing. <clears throat> you know what we need? More fire! I, I throw the bards that way. Maybe we should drown them instead. You you were most certainly sent to the flames as a witch! He probably smells the pizza still. He can't have he can't have any more. He he had enough crust. That's right. I was there. I saw it. She most certainly was No, 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 no. Don't know. No. They don't actually. They know. don't know, man. They don't know anything. Is it because she's a witch? Can witches not die? Oh God! Fuck off. Yeah. She okay, must have yeah, used Demir and vanished just in time. Oh, I say, send her straight to the fire. We'll do it ourselves if we have to. Good mm. lord. I forgot you were here for a second, even though you were the talk no. of the town for the last five minutes. Yes, honey, I know. You want up on the on the thing before I start? You want up on the chair? We no, no more food. You had enough, and I had enough. We're good. Two pieces of pizza is enough. And you had two pieces of crust. You're good. Enough. A witch must be in possession of Italia Magica in order to use magic. I hate to disappoint you all, but. Do you see such a thing on her person? I think not. <laughs> that light kills okay. me. Sorry. I uh, think uh, not. <laughs> it's just a funny line. She bought her. Why is such a funny line? I think not. Yeah. That girl must have used the mirror. Surely you can see that. Now you question it all. Oh right. Isn't what's his name? Barnum? Isn't he still in jail? Still in jail. What's that girl's name again? Uh, the one oh. that's in jail with him. Gray? Yeah, Gray. If I eat Earl Gray. Oh, yeah. Earl Gray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you! <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you. you were Earl... Yeah, you were Earl Gray. The, the girl? The girl witch? That oh, hit her okay. by a gender or whatever? Yeah! This is her Earl. To try and, uh... Demir is a spell able to make someone disappear from sight. It cannot make one vanish entirely. And besides, an investigation conducted by the Knights of the Inquisition has concluded that this girl is not capable of using magic. In her current state, maybe? Oh, in her current state, yes, yes, yes. They can't defend themselves if they threw an innocent in the fire. <laughs> Might as well just... Listen well, Miss Kira. Yes, Father. Your existence alone jeopardizes the very peace of Leblanthia. Yet, given the current situation... Yeah. It is now imperative that you testify to this court regarding what you saw. Immediately! Objection! That will not be... Why? Why? Be something that Why? Harms her Are you? Is it because she's your butt buddy and she was doing stuff for you? Ew! Push his fingies together cutely. What? This girl has already been convicted and tried as a witch in a previous trial. What good could come of her te testimony? No, it's okay. I feel You're like everybody's on twenty different pages here. I I think we're I, th <laughs> I think we're just back a bit. Yeah, Nightbot, I hear you. Shut up. Oh gosh, you know, guys, that mobster's already arrested. He has no useful information at all. <laughs> Let's just never talk to him ever. He he won't uh, squeal know. ever. But she was found hiding at the crime scene. 
I'd say that makes her a very important witness. A witness whose testimony we cannot choose to ignore. I, Inquisitor Dark Law, I'm afraid your objection is overruled. Woo! Yeah! Party! With Great Grandpa! I want to hear from the lady that should be dead. You must proceed then. Very well. So what do you keep calling me that? Let us see just how much of her story this girl is willing to tell the court, shall we? What, you want that wine? I know, it's getting cold in here again. <clears throat> There's no doubt about it. Miss Kira must have escaped through the passage leading under the Chamber of Fire. <laughs> Although, from the looks of it, the judge doesn't have a clue that escape route even exists. I wish he'd hurry up and get the hint. I'm dying to take this helmet off already. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's like, you know, maybe, maybe this is the out I need. I'm fucking suffocating. The top of my head really itches! Oh, I can feel that. Sorry, Maya. Take that thing off now, and we're as good as done. Just hang in. Take that thing off now, and we're, we're as good as done. Just hang in there a little while longer. Stop! You're too loud! Aww. Pretty well, witness. You may begin your testimony. I hate that I'm also the witness. Ike doesn't care. <laughs> Explain to the court how you are standing here in court today. And why were you hiding at the crime scene? This is this is happening right now. <laughs> Behave! I'm no. not familiar with this Kira you keep talking about. I came from... I came from the Eldritch Woods. I came to this town to summon forth the fire dragon and kill the storyteller. Oh? Okay. As it rained, I waited near the bell tower, next to the vigilantes for my chance. I was only there to carry out my orders. I don't know anything else outside of that. STOP IT! <laughs> You're being really mean tonight! What if I give you more crust? Will that shut you up? Here, <laughs> have some. The noise immediately stops. I know, right? <laughs> Good boy. Enough. Go ahead. Pizza crust. Pizza crust, pizza crust, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. <laughs> Sorry, that's been in my head you since I've was... <laughs> That's been in my head since I've listened to porcelain mage. <laughs> yes, that was my task. Wow, you stopped real fucking quick. <laughs> Keep in mind this girl was not the one who summoned the fire dragon in the end. That was the uh, accused that uh, the the word is accused. Yeah. It's 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 not it's not uh absolute. It's accused. <laughs> As I warned you earlier, there is nothing to be gained from this witch's testimony. Objection. Uh, I wouldn't say that last statement seemed kind of like so. stand outy to me. Now hold on. She was still present at the scene of the crime with the intent to murder the storyteller. The defense insists we, we be permitted to continue with our cross-examination on those grounds. After all, didn't we arrest somebody on the intent of the fact that they were working sides anyway, so I mean... Like, yeah! Dark Claw is really trying to weasel just... our way out through this cross-examination. Yeah, <clears throat> that means there has to be something there. Hmm. Oh. She don't like this. Huh. <laughs> I must admit, I too am extremely interested in hearing what this witness has to say. The helmet is not a good look, Vicious. <laughs> it's concerning. Maybe be Defender, a you may begin your interrogation. Yes, great grandpa. Sorry, I was talking to somebody from the gallery. <laughs> no, I, I, I ate your pizza. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> what was the echoey voice about? <laughs> It was an internal thought. Oh, oh, okay. God damn it. 
Not familiar with. Okay. Okay, whatever. Talking, okay, you're not Kira. Sure. You say you're not familiar with the name Kira? Then why does your dialogue yes. box say Kira? I've never heard it before. But, but I'm saying that that is your name, young lady! Honestly, what literally is this? Well, for the low low <sighs> cost of two gold, uh, I can change my name to whatever I want it to be. <laughs> That's the service they offer here now. I have no name. I'm simply a resident of the Eldritch Woods. Nothing more. Right, Eldritch the woods Wood? are outside of the book. Of the book's realm. What the fuck does that mean? I forgot about what that part. That? Yeah, you... We're about to make the judges Eat head it explode. up, buddy. The very same one said to house the souls of the witches into the flame? Are you telling me they really exist? No matter how you look at her, the Kira up on that witness stand doesn't look like much of a soul to me. The girl has lost all memory of ever being a flower seller. That is all. Well, who the fuck are you, fucking, uh, what's his face? Uh, the fucking... Ah. <sighs> the way you know everything, it almost seems that you're the story teller. Then I wonder if she even remembers our running back of the marketplace. Um, Miss Kira, do you happen to remember me at all? No, I do not know you. I first saw you just now at the bell tower. Oh, she is, she is a fucking husker. Hmm. Ah, uh, creepy. So, but you did notice. Well, then, to, wait. To be fair, she said that they were. She was using the the power to to hide herself, or that no one, no other person could or supposed to see her in the village. So maybe she got freaked out because Phoenix seen her. I don't know. <clears throat> I came to this town to summon forth the fire and kill the story. Did you just say fire dragon? Yes, it was all a part of my orders. I was told to come here this evening and wait for the right moment when the storyteller would appear before the people. Yes, honey. Only then I was supposed to shout out the incantation as loudly as possible. Oh, great beast from the inferno, heed my call, Grand Worm. Well, it obviously won't work. She doesn't have a stick. Yeah. She don't got that magic stick. I believe this bears repeating. The girl <laughs> does not possess a scepter. I know y'all were scared. It is impossible yeah. for her to summon any sort of magical dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> What? Yeah, I question up. Here. This is your last piece. Pizza crust, pizza crust. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Then why are you hiding underneath the bench, Your Honor? <coughs> yes, well, um, yeah. it yeah. is as I thought then. Um, she could not have guessed the smell. I believe I have made it perfectly clear. This girl is not the Great Witch Bazella. Naturally, the great witch is that girl. Oh, they put her in there, and it's that on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, listen, hear me out. Isn't that fucking too hot for her? Nah, it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Must smell fucking... like a good pig roast there. Because apparently, when people burn, it smells like a pig roast. And that sounds horrifying. That's, no. <clears throat> I've heard that we taste like Hold pigs, it. apparently. Cool. I hate it. Hold her right there, Miss Kira. You snuck right past the vigilantes? Yes, that's right. My orders at that time were to... The girl is a... Okay, you shut her up. Saucy Baka! <laughs> Uh-oh. This could possibly infer. Uh-oh. Therefore, something as simple as vanishing from sight is child's play. But she needs a stick to do that. Isn't that right, witness? You said so yourself. She needs a stick to do that. Yes, that is correct. Aha! I remember now. Just a few days ago, this girl... ...caused an explosion. Use that very vanishing spell! Come here! If memory serves. Oh. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, but again... She needs we a just stick. went over this. She doesn't have a stick. 
She said she didn't have a stick. How she could... Well, what are you gawking at, witness? Continue with your testimony. What was that just now? I could have sworn I just saw Kira's face turn even paler than normal. <clears throat> oh, what do we have, actually? Curious. Oh, we have nothing. Nothing that would. Nothing yet. The only thing I can think of is that cloth. I think we might have used that already. Uh oh. But I think he. I think he got the BALO again. Nothing. Sorry in advance. Miss Kira, who exactly gave you your orders? Yes, he did. <laughs> Why don't you get that corpse ball around the corner, dude? I cannot say. Yeah, it's a tennis ball, and he and he tore it up so much that like the the, the outside is all torn up, and and the ball is just almost in half. It's like Pac-Man, so we call it a corpse ball. Stop it! Let go! And why is that? I'm gonna squeeze it so it doesn't make noise. I am not to disclose the identity of the one who has given me my orders. That in itself is an order. Ah, How awesome. convenient! Ready? Of course, it's gotta be the loudest fucking ball in the neighborhood! I'm only supposed to carry out my orders. Nothing more. I do not know anything else. And besides... Shh, shh, shh. There is nothing more that I can really do. Yeah, go get it. Nothing more Bubble. she can do. But hold on just a minute. Surely you are capable of using magic. You are a witch, are you not? You know, I wish I did this during fucking Leighton time instead of Phoenix time. How many times are we going to have to teach you this lesson, old man? Please. I, I am not a witch. What did you just say? You said you're from Eldridge Woods, which is like a witch town, and they know it's a witch town. God, fuck. Shut up! So why why is she all of a sudden saying, I'm not a witch? Well, maybe she's not. I cannot use magic. She can't use magic? This girl is a witch. Stop it! Every person witch. in this courtroom knows that as a matter of what fact. What is it then? There can be nary a doubt. Hey, come here. She only can't use magic when it's convenient for you. Good boy. You're such a quiet angel when you eat. Doesn't look like there's much to work with. Hmm. Even though she's just <laughs> finished explaining everything, I still don't fully understand. Oh man, Nick. You don't think this Kira is actually some uh, crazy magical zombie, do you? Maya, stop. Maya, you went through the same thing as Kira. Did you become a magical zombie? Oh yeah. I guess not, huh? True. And also, uh, she remembers who she is. So, I don't know what the fuck is on Kira's brain. Probably, uh... Ooh, brainwashed. Yeah, I was about to say, probably... Probably a bit of Dark Law on that. <laughs> Got a little, uh, Dark Law on it. Luke and I couldn't believe it was Kira when we ran into her in the marketplace. I mean, we thought for sure she was a goner back at the trial. Oh, right, it was Luke, wasn't it? Yes. I don't think I'm far off, though. This Kira is way different than the old Kira. It looks like she doesn't remember a thing. She's almost like another person entirely. But what if that's just it, Maya? Oh. What if the Kira right here, right now, is the real Kira, and the old Kira wasn't? Huh. Or the reverse, but what? What if... What are you talking about, Phoenix? The real Kira, huh? Yeah, and that's why. I think I'm bound to find something useful in her testimony. I hope you're ready to slam on some desks because... No, no, no. Okay. We might have to press another statement again. I think you did press all of them. But, there was one that mentioned the order. What's the correlation? Wait, what, were you what are you trying to suggest here? Because isn't, isn't that where, like, the witches go? 
Yeah. Yeah. And but she says she's not a witch. That is yeah, but exact. She came from there. She didn't necessarily mean it's mutually exclusive. I don't know if all the. Okay. So. That's the last statement. So. I think press the second statement since you pressed the last one that directly mentioned the orders, and she mentioned the orders in this press statement, so maybe new information will come out of it. <clears throat> Let's see. And that's the thing. What are you sniffing down there? I didn't drop any food, you little miser. I know you're probably smelling the pizza. Stop! Hey, enough. No, that's icky. That is not even food. Nope. Oh, no. Third one? That? Give me a second. It was... Oh, was that piece that you didn't eat the other day? Fuck off, dude. You didn't even eat it when I gave it to you? You just left it on the floor like a goddamn gremlin? Girl's a witch. Here it is, maybe. Yeah, I think this is new shit, right? No. No, 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 no it's not. Oh, no, no, it's the same. It's not, the, no, it's it's the same. Okay, here Wait we go. A There's something not yeah. right about this testimony. There was a contradiction in statements. It's such a hunch, but what should I do? Press further. Nah, let's not. Miss Kira, I have one simple question for you. You stated earlier in your testimony that you snuck past the vigilantes guarding the bell tower and went right inside. <clears throat> Tell me, did you use the spell Demir to get by them? <clears throat> yes. You gotta get God if you do. That must certainly be the case. Okay, then. Had she not, she certainly would have been spotted. Which now raises the question. Objection. But uh, <laughs> she said that she couldn't use... But remember what, what she let slip just a moment or two ago. <clears throat> she denied being a witch and stated she, quote, cannot use magic. Nah. Therefore, if that's true, then you, Miss Kira, would not have been able to use Demir at all. Objection. Okay, Dark Love, what's your problem? What a ridiculous argument. How else would this girl have been able to walk right into the bell tower unnoticed by the guards? Explain that! Objection. I have a better idea. How about we have the witness herself explain it to you? She's literally the one that was just saying that she can't use the med. Okay. What do you say, Miss Kira? I... I am not a witch. And I... Cannot use magic. Hmm. This is all in. Exactly how were you able to ascend the bell tower without being noticed? You went up on the ch chair, it's a lot warmer. Instead of being on the cold floor, dude. Witness! Abandon your testimony this instant! Okay. What's going on? There's gotta be another way she got into that bell tower unseen. But other than magic, I have no idea what that could be. Yeah, you want up? Okay. The, the, the what now? What? The what now? I don't... I feel like I should remember this. But I don't. I don't... That... That's from Harry Potter. Oh, man! What? I didn't know she was in Harry Potter. Okay, press this. Hold okay, on. Okay, we all said the same thing, didn't we? <laughs> when I came back. No. 
<laughs> well, just, the, just as a thing in general, I don't think any sort of ap the fucking object has been brought up before. What do you fucking mean? Hold it. The fuck what? <laughs> oh, wait, just a second. Did you just say robe of invisibility? You're making shit up. Yes, that is correct. A, a, a robe of invisibility? Surely you don't mean... Uh, a robe that can make what vanish from sight when worn. I ate another slice yes, of pizza because I like, can now I feel so fucking full. Yes, that is correct. What? Okay, where is it? We have it apparently. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no! It's invisible. Don't worry. Shut. Miss Kira, do you have that robe on you right now? I don't have it. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. That is. Yeah, I told you, we have it. <laughs> ah! Okay. I dropped oh. it back at the bell tower. Look. She's oh, she's doing the flower thing. Mm hmm. hmm. What the heck was that? Why was Kira looking over at Darklaw when she spoke just... I think uh -oh. we're breaking out of her thing. Cause... Cause the audience knows who Darklaw is now. So they might as well just... Let it go! Let it go! <laughs> Are you listening to this farce, my lord? Surely you do not give any credence to this witness's testimony. Especially to this preposterous notion of a robe of, of invisibility. Hmm, indeed. I must say, Witness, that is quite an unbelievable story. You think so? Hold up. Wait a minute, so I'll be right. I don't think that it's crazy, Your Honor. What? If, if something like magic can exist... The chances of a robot of visibility being real are pretty high, wouldn't you say? If such is the case. Well. And then how about you put your evidence where your mouth is? Prove that this robe of invisibility exists. I mean, it doesn't look very clean, but alright. Well, we'll... Prove it? Mm -hmm. Starts mm -hmm. eating the rope. What say you, Divinda? Oh, it tastes it like, like bread. Mud. It tastes like mud. Can you prove to the court of the rule of invisibility how those in fact exist? It tastes like Me? pudding bread. Yes, I do. Yes, Your Honor. The defense believes it has evidence to prove the robe's existence. Sorry, I'm taking the medicine real quick. The girl needs sleep tonight. Why am I not surprised a ridiculous offender only begets ridiculous arguments? Your Honor, she's ridiculous. <laughs> Your Honor, we're, you all are ridiculous! Fuck this trial! <laughs> I gotta admit, an invisible robe does sound pretty far-fetched even for Labyrinthia. But, <laughs> if it's outside of the book... If there's even the slightest possibility this evidence is right, hi, Baida. Then I've got to try it. Very well, Defender. Please show the court this evidence. Show us the piece of evidence that proves the existence of this robe. Man, uh, we are finally getting to this fucking part of the trial where yeah. we're using every fucking thing. This is the last piece of evidence, by the way. Take that. Yeah, the last one we haven't used yet. So. Excellent. That means uh, Leighton should be coming here soon. Yep, yep. Because he's got the rest of our shit. And he's gonna point at us and do the trailer shot. Mm hmm. There was, in fact, a robe dropped and left at the crime scene tonight. A, a robe? Also, hi, uh, Art Creed, if I didn't say hi. Miss Kira, that robe of invisibility that you mentioned earlier wouldn't happen to be. This one? This one right here, would it? Objection. Oh my god. I didn't ask you, Dark Law! I asked the witness. 
How ridiculous. How ludicrous. You're trying to tell the court that is the rope of invisibility. If it's really a rope of, of invisibility, then how is it that we can see it right now? Dirty white that spots mate. and all. Oh, you know what? It's covered in flour. That mate, atheist. So, if she uses it, you could probably still see the flower. That would be funny. No, uh, well, I mean, she's kind of got a point there. Oh, hey! What if the rope actually disappears when you wear it? Like that Harry Pothead thing. Give it here, Nick! Watch and wonder as Maya the Magnificent disappears before your very eyes! This will not work. I bet you it'll work. Oh. What was that? So, are you amazed yet? Well, maybe she puts the hood on. That did not work. Well, maybe she, maybe she needs to put the hood on. Yeah, I'm amazed. How totally ludicrous you look in that. Man, you got the helmet going on. You got the you got the Organization 13 hood going on. You're doing good. Doing wonders. She's on her way to being a Dark Souls NPC. Hey, what yeah. gives? This thing mu must be busted or something. I didn't disappear at all. Hmm. Well, that's not it. No. I'm assuming that's Kira. Tonight at the bell tower, I was wearing that robe. What did you say? So it it is a cloak. It's ability. An order? I said order. <laughs> How is that possible? The rope did not disappear at all just now. But it's like you gotta put the hood on, duh. Get to believe. That's because of the white powder on it. It's usually not that dirty. Really? It's the flower that's causing it? The flower. But it, no, come on. Does she... That can't possibly be just the reason. Huh? Y you mean these spots here? Please don't tell me. Oh yeah! Patty totally unloaded the entire bag of flour on those nights, remember? Not to mention, it was still raining when we were up there. The flower must have gotten nice and wet, so it stained the robe. That's not how flower works, but alright. I mean, right now, it's fucking caked on. Flour is a cakey substance. You would have to fucking... Water on it, but all right. It'll take you forever to get that out, are you kidding me?! Put that thing in the washer. Say what? Is, say what if we try washing that? See, there you go. Wash that fucking shit off. Ah. Take it to the royal laundromat. There is a small water fountain at the edge of the square. Yeah, get that cake off. <laughs> Zoom in. Head there right now and wash the robe. So we can go to the bottom of this quickly now! Man, next thing we'll be cleaning fucking panties at some point. We had to deal with a what? panty thief, talk to a bunch of animals. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets worse from here. Are we in a recess for- oh no, we're at the film. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. Take notes, Nick. This is how you do the laundry. What? See? All you have to do is throw the robe into the water like so. Maya. Scrub, scrub. Why would you let it go? Scrub. She's washing it! Wait, what? So? Oh no, what if it vanished? Oh <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought you meant like someone was gonna take it. I didn't even think no, about it. No, like it's gonna disappear in the water. It's like, well, that's gone forever! That's just it! I don't see a thing! It disappeared! Did you, did you, did you, yeah. Did, Why would you let go? Did you just- did you just misplace evidence, you stupid bitch? <laughs> ah, it writes itself. What? <clears throat> woman, you had- woman, you had exactly one job, and that was not to lose evidence. And what did Hunter, you do? Please. You lost the goddamn evidence. Has Phantom done a pizza ritual today as our screen? Meryl, I had enchiladas tonight. I did. I did it for him. I frankly look- took a close look at the water in the fountain, but 
the robe had actually vanished without a trace. Right there inside the fountain. Well, I mean, it worked. Quick, <laughs> Chris, we're back here. They didn't bother looking for it. No fucking way. <laughs> What is the meaning of it? How could you have lost such a vital piece of evidence? Y your Honor, it wasn't on purpose. Trust me. I wish I knew how it happened. Y'all, y'all ain't thinking, really? Come on, guys. Just because it's invisible doesn't mean you can't feel it. Cop the feel on the water, man. I know what I said. <laughs> I can't believe it. The robe actually disappeared from sight. Um, I don't quite know what you're talking about. I can still see the rope just fine. Huh? Huh? Look, it's right here, see? Look at the <laughs> No, Miss Kira, I really don't see! Because there's nothing to see! So, is that how it works? Putting the robe on makes you disappear completely from sight? But from the looks of it, only Kira is able to actually see the robe itself. It is not just me. It's all inhabitant. It's all inhabitants of the Eldritch Woods. All of us can see the robe. Does that mean Darklaw can see the robe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Eldritch Woods. Our village lies deep within the recesses of the forest in a world much different from this one. That's where I live. As long as we obey the law of the land, we are allowed to live there. I knew it. There is definitely something different about Kira compared to the rest of the townspeople here. For the time being... I think the crust put Ike back to bed. Good. Mm-hmm. Seeing as the only as only the witness can see the robe, we will cover it in flour again for the sake of visibility. <laughs> well, to be fair, that that makes sense. We are we we we've seen it work, so it works out. Makes the wearer invisible, worn by inhabitants. I just happen of the to have some leftover flour from my pizza making process. Oh, I fucking hate that the lore works. Stop! We just. Throw some flour <laughs> on there. There we go. Win the mood! It's the sky. I like the gray. But Ow! there's still one tiny thing bothering me. Ah. Oh, ah. The kitty attack. Ow! Oh, okay. <laughs> Cat attack! Cat attack! Go, my children, go. <laughs> I know, be free! Ow! <laughs> Do what you will with the, with the body. Demon of resistance. Ow! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> do your nails! <laughs> Viva la resistance! Ms. Kira, your robe was found on the middle floor of the bell tower. The same floor where we found my client. However, you were hiding on the uppermost level of the bell tower. You testified a little while ago that you dropped your robe, but... I have to wonder, what exactly were you doing there on that top floor? How did you know of its existence? It would seem there is still much we must ask this witness. Yes! Quite. What say your High Inquisitor Dogloff? Ha <laughs> She ain't saying shit, dude. Since the Inquisition's duty to follow my lord's decision on such matters. I have no objections. Very well, witness. You are hereby ordered to continue your testimony. Sweet! <coughs> Tell us what happened between your sneaking up to the top floor of the bell tower and tonight's most terrible crime. Yes, okay. What happened on the top floor? I was waiting on the middle floor of the tower. I started to turn around, but I was too late. They attacked me from behind. There was nothing I could do. My arm was restrained, and the, and the attacker covered my mouth? 
Okay. Where? As I struggle to get away, I think I managed to pull something out of my attacker. Oh no, that's not good. That's when I lost consciousness. I woke up to find myself next to the bell on the I'm top floor of the tower. <laughs> the, the cat's giving him a hard time. This is anti grudge. No shit! Oh, right, he is BRB. He's taking care of pussies. What is? What, what did, oh. are, are you saying someone attacked you while you were in the bell tower? Yes, that is correct. But who? I don't know. They attacked me from behind, so I couldn't see who it was. Hmm. So you were unconscious the entire time after that. Don't sound like a fucking thing from Minecraft, bro. Huh. <laughs> no, the villager, that's what it was! Huh. No, stop! Huh. <laughs> Those noises are so stupid! Huh. Arr, that's so dumb! Huh. That's why I was unable to complete my mission. Fucking no, it's stuck in my head now. But even if I hadn't been unconscious, I couldn't have done anything trapped high up in the belfry like that. So... But even if I hadn't been unconscious... Oh, okay. I wonder if that weird contraption we found there was used to move Kira up... Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 alright. I figured that was the case because uh, <laughs> Dark Claw has the other one. <laughs> At least I can't see it. Oh, so the one. This is Dark Laws. Mm. <laughs> oh! Mm. Oh shit! I don't know why that didn't just click with me until now! Holy, okay. Keep it in mind for later. Yeah, mm hmm. Because obviously we can't put two and two together unless we have a picture. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll try not to overthink that part, but that's. Yeah. That's fucked. I was- I thought- I didn't- okay. At least I can't see any other way she could have gotten up there. You heard the witness. She was locked up in the belfry of the tower. In other words, she couldn't have had anything to do with tonight's events. Therefore, there is no need for this utterly useless interrogation. Objection! Says you. Not so fast. The witness also testified that someone attacked her tonight. Not so fast. Wasn't that, um... Xiao? Uh, the, the yeah, Xilong. Xilong, yeah. Not so fast. Yeah, that's what it was like. I know it's out of familiar. Defender, are you implying that this attacker could have been Bazella? Good game. I cannot say for certain, Your Honor. Regardless, the defense requests we, we be allowed to cross-examine this witness. That sounded wrong in my head. Request granted. Well done, Defender. You may begin your interrogation. And here's where the fun begins. Let's see if we can coax this mysterious second witch out of hiding. Mm. Gee, I wonder who it could be. And, you know, all evidence pointed to Dark Law from the start. The cat thing really threw us off, but it doesn't matter. Okay, but okay, let me reread this. I was waiting on the middle floor of the tower. I started to turn around, but I was too late. <sighs> this is it here. Uh, I want to say, I want to say, push it for the um text. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to be the pendant. Because it's torn. If 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 we just pretend it, it, we didn't know it was Dark Claws, right? Yeah. It's still torn. So it got ripped off. Oh, you shouldn't present the... This. Thing is, but I'll yeah. press it for text in case that there's an added testimony. Yeah. But I think this is the statement here. Hold it! Yeah, we'll press it to... Would it happen to be this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What exactly did you pull off? I was still really dazed at the time, so I can't remember it very well, but... 
When I flung my hand up, I felt myself grab a small round object. She's looking back at Darklaw again. I must have pulled it off without thinking. I felt whatever it was snap right off. So, from what you're saying, it sounds like this could have been something that was on your attacker's person? <clears throat> I think... so. I can still feel it, even now. It felt like I just snapped a piece of rope or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, like, um... I'm gonna... yeah, I'm gonna press it. Not press it, present it. <clears throat> I think I would recognize the shape if I saw it. She'd recognize the shape if she saw it? If only we had something that could trigger her memory, then all we have to do is present it at the, and we'd be in business. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, that might not be such a bad idea, Maya. Yeah, no, it's the fucking pendant. Yeah, I'm so smart! You get, you, I, I love the kinds of ones where it's like, present a piece that lines up instead of, like, contradicts. Objection! Like, what happened if you just put it? Yeah. We don't get those nice ones much in this I game. I think there's a few of the, there's a few of them in the Great Ace Attorney games. So. Yeah, but I mean in this game specifically. Yeah. The only one I think it was during when when I was about to, yeah Leighton Leighton was gold. I think there was one that we had to tie to connect it, but there wasn't yeah. too much of that in this game. Sad. Miss Kira, you stated that you felt yourself snap something off your attacker. Don't forgot how to read for a minute. Would that thing be, by any chance, be this right here? Oh. Is it... She's sweating. That's it. I recognize that shape. That was the object I grabbed. What did you say? But, but, but that... You know, I should have expected that to happen. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the accused pendant, is it not? <clears throat> Not quite, Your Honor. There are actually two pendants like this. The one you see here is the counterpart to Miss Cantabella's pen pendant. Me no, me no, me no speak, me no read well. That ain't you mention it. I remember. The necklace was actually very I tough. Got my food beer. I thought this way. Wait. Oh no, wait. That was Morgana, was it? Yeah, that was. Oh, me. oh my god, that I thought Morgana. that was you, Phantom. <laughs> Wait, no. you? You. I thought you went to go get food. I did get food. Morgana did not. Now he's gone to get food. Oh. Okay, I was. <laughs> my. My oh god. Okay. I'm just thinking about this! <laughs> so, I struggled against it, tugging and pulling at it for a bit. And I must have scratched her neck at the... Hey, Darklaw! Let me see that neck of yours. Oh. Let me see that neck, girl. What that neck do, girl? Stinky! Wait a second, you mean you scratched your attacker's neck? Oh! I think so, but I don't know for sure. Is that what that ick is? Somebody got a little hickey. Dry blood. Yeah, I'm thinking that, yeah. It, but it could be just mud from the rain because the rain did go in Bell Tower. Yeah. Nick, in in that case, that means the dark. No, okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's never mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It it could be the attacker's blood. It's unfortunate that we don't have anything modern. <laughs> no, yeah, no forensics would be real nice here. As the court can clearly see, there are still traces of blood left on the necklace itself. However, take one look at my client, and you'll notice there are no visible scars or cuts of any kind around her neck. Ergo, there is no way Miss Cantabella could be Miss Kira's attacker. Nice try, Defender. But I must stop you right there. Huh? Have you already forgotten what I told you? The Great Witch can use any spell in existence. She could have easily healed any such wound in the blink of an eye. Okay, let me do a spell then. Duh. Let me do a spell, I got the I book. can't believe I'm saying this, but I already miss Inquisitor Barnum. 
Man, we really can't catch a break on this one, huh, Nick? Let us resume the interrogation. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Witness, continue with your testimony. There's more here? Yes. <sighs> Must get to the bottom of this. What else? Okay, hold on. So... Wait, uh, I was waiting. Middle floor of the tower. I started to turn around, but I was too late. What does that mean? Hold it! So you weren't able to catch even a glimpse of your attacker, is that right, Miss Kira? Y yes, that's right. Not even a teeny bit. They attacked me from behind, after all. Did I just hear correctly? It sounded like she hesitated in answering. By the way... May I ask why you turned around, Miss Kira? Yeah. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Well, it's just that you said you suddenly tried to turn around. Yeah, that's a little sus too, huh? I didn't pick up on that. So I read it again. Something must have you really grab something must have really grabbed your attention to make you try to turn around so suddenly. <clears throat> I don't remember. I I do think I heard a sound come from behind me. You're saying that you heard something and that's what made you turn around. Y yes. But I don't have any recollection of what exactly that was. Hey, what you doing there, girl? <laughs> what you doing there, girl? Uh oh. Why Stop are you the holding the back of your neck? Something must have happened. Uh oh, stinky. Man, if they if if it wasn't obvious, definitely is now. What else do I have here? Just looking. Oh fuck you, game! I just wanted to see. No. Remember how they thought that these footprints were from the fucking dominatrix? I'm back. Welcome back. I got burger and fries. Ew. Nom nom. Indeed. Have we? Hold it. I don't know if you pressed. No, I didn't. We only pressed two statements. Was the person male or female? Or are you not sure? non I, I, I don't remember much. I didn't assume their gender, you cis white male. But I do know the person easily overpowered me. I remember they grabbed my left wrist. I tried to scream, but they quickly covered my mouth before I had a chance. I desperately tried to break their hold, but it was no good. It sounds like the attacker managed to restrict her movements from behind. Still, saying that... There's definitely something not right here. Something about her testimony just doesn't add up. So this is the other sussy one? Hmm. Something about it is a tiny bit different from what we've heard. We've heard so... Really? I'm... Hmm. I think it'd be a good idea to check the court record again. What am I... I have an inclination. Yeah. Well, I mean, what did they say pr previously that made a difference? This? Hmm. It 
It's that statement. Hey, who's wearing the robe? Kira. Or are you saying that Darklaw was wearing the robe? No. 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 Damn it. Because it was on it's only visible to the inhabitants. Hmm. I just ran out of water. Yeah, wait one sec. That's fine. We also didn't press the last time either. Well that's well, that's because this is the piece of evidence here. I mean, this is this is the thing we have to press. I know, but we out. should also press the last thing. No, I want to figure this out. I wonder. Humor me. There was nothing I could do, but... But you, you did do something. Hmm. Unless it's in profiles. What does profiles say? It's, on, it's only gonna be... It's, a, it's, it's only these people, and ain't gonna do me no good. Oh, she's there now. Oh, she's got... different color now. Unless that was always like that. Amnesiac! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I was waiting on the middle floor of the tower. I started to turn around, but I was too late. Get out! Get out! Hmm? Now what? we go into this territory, because this is also evidence. Why would she turn around so suddenly? Oh! I'm here. I don't think it's Demir. Okay, maybe not. Mm. Hold it. You say you lost consciousness? Y yeah, in fact, it actually felt a lot like magic. It was the first time I had ever experienced a magic spell quite like that. I'll be knocked in the back of the head. As I thought, there was magic at play here. Must I remind you that the Great Witch Bazella can use any and all magic with the snap of her fingers. Okay, great, cool. Indeed, such a spell does in fact exist. Welcome back? It was a... Uh, uh, what, what was it called again? 
Don't sweat it, Your Honor. Just leave it to me and my trusty old grand grimoire. I fucking knew it was the last statement. God damn it! Could Kira's attacker have actually been a witch? Really doesn't look like magic was used in- Yeah, see? Anyway, it looks like Kira is telling the truth. Still, she's definitely avoiding making eye contact. Not to mention, she seems extremely hesitant. There's no doubt about it, she's trying to keep something big from getting out. In that case, Nick, let's give it all we got and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it really feels like there's a lot riding on this one, Maya. See, I told you, nothing. Probably have to press a few statements, though, because remember the last time we did this, we did have to press some statements to progress her actively <laughs> trying to skim through the book. So probably have to repress a couple statements. Ugh. <laughs> I hate this fucking game. <laughs> Funny. It's not funny. It's irritating. It is funny to me. Because it's almost 9 o'clock. Oh. Yeah, it's not funny now, is it? You're funny now. Yeah? Comedy. Yeah? Sad comedy. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the crying clown in the corner. Hold it! I don't fucking know. Another person easily overpowered me when I grabbed my left wrist. Seems like probably got my mouth for a chance. See, this is the fucking testimony here. What did we hear that... Oh. I'm not sure. Kira was wearing the robe. The only way the person can see them is if they can also see the robe. And the only one who can do that is Darklaw. But that wasn't the answer. Now we got three more. Press this again, I guess. Wait, this is new. No, it's not. I don't remember this. We were they were we, we were talking about them about the uh, about witches healing their own wounds, the great witch. Really, I just... don't remember this line of dialogue though. I don't think so. The pendant is all the size of ammo we need. Yeah, no, this is new. Just have to think. There has to be something about this pendant that I can present as evidence. But didn't I do that already? Uh, <sighs> I have a thought. Kira is still definitely hiding something, but I'm pretty sure we can get her to spill the beans with the right piece of evidence. Spill those beans. Beans. I want you to present the pendant on the second one. Because she did manage to do something. I mean, I was thinking the same thing, but... I can't think of anything else. Objection! Oh my god, I hate it here, because she says this. Okay. Because it's like... She, she admitted to having pulled it off. Which was not something we figured out until after we um, confirmed it. Right? I mean, it still doesn't make sense to me, but okay. Because <laughs> she did say she pulled it off, and then she said there was nothing I could do. And then she said, as I struggled, I managed to break something off of her. So that sounds to me... Oh. Like, she was trying to struggle still, and then she was able to rip it off. So, I, I that never came to mind. Hmm. <sighs> I'll, I'll go along with it. Miss Kara, there's something a little strange about your testimony just now, wouldn't you say? Huh? You stated that you were attacked from behind, and that the attacker grabbed you by the wrist, correct? 
Oh, just the, the manner of, like, how do, you, oh. how do you do that? Like, how do you do that? Like, put your like, either hand behind your back. How the fuck do you, like, you know, fucking, like, <laughs> do that reasonably? Assuming that was, in fact, the case, then I, I say no matter Sam how much Fisher you struggled... Game. I'm trying to understand this. <laughs> There's no way you would have been able to yank off the pendant. One covering... With the way that your arm would have to move in order to pull it off with that much force to, you know, cause a wound, it'd be really fucking awkward to do it from behind. So, she grabs the wrist, she covers her mouth, but there's still an arm free. There is. But it's also like... Then why is Dark Claw hiding her neck? It's trying to... Well... Yeah! Just... It doesn't make sense, right? Well, she doesn't want anybody to know. Yeah, but if, what you're saying is that she couldn't have grabbed the pendant, so how did she get the claw marks and how did that break? Do you understand why I don't understand yeah. this? That's what we're trying to figure out. But apparently Phoenix knows more than I do here. We're trying to just... The strap on this like... pendant is too short. There's no way you could have reached behind your... Yeah. We're trying to pantomime it. We're trying to pantomime it. We're that, that, that is a good part. We're trying to point out that it doesn't make sense. Like, okay, how did we get here then? Miss Kira... The only way you would have been able to yank this pendant off your attacker is if they were standing directly in front of you. So, because we proved that it was the pendant itself we yanked off, and then we were... Like, she mentioned she yanked something off, she yanked it, we proved what it was, but now that we're able to use the pendant itself directly in, re in relation to, like, the, the scenario, we could see that the way that the pendant was ripped off would make it like, okay, if it's this specific object you were able to yank, then, like, it would be really fucking awkward and not be very feasible to do it from your position at the time. Depends. Well, I... It depends. Depends on how tall they all are. Because... I mean, Dark Law must be very... I, I think Dark Law is very tall. Because what I'm saying is you can do it. I can put my hand behind my head and yank something. I can do it right now without my left hand. I don't... I don't understand this line of logic. I would have went with... If it was on the wrist that she was holding her hand in, that would have made more sense to me. Because, remember, it was on Estella's wrist. So if Darklaw had it on her wrist, that would have made more sense. I don't understand this line of logic at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. But I'll go along with it for the sake of the story, but it doesn't make sense to me at all. If if she if she's like a million feet taller than Kira, it would make sense. I, Order! I that the going on there, yeah. Order! I say! Every Wait a second! Every, every, every time one of us says Kira in this investigation, I'm just expecting the light to come out somewhere. Or L. Objection! The witness was the victim of a physical attack. It's only natural that she'd be a bit confused. Uh, if it was in the front, and I'm gonna go along with this whole thing, if it was in the front, she wouldn't be confused on the details because she would have yanked your pendant off your neck. She would be able to see your face. Just saying. <laughs> it wrecked. Hi, Inquisitor. I wouldn't exactly call mistaking the location of your attacker being a bit confused. I call more of a barefaced lie. Well now, Defender, I see you are as pathetically short-sighted as ever. Your argument is only valid assuming that this girl here actually saw her attack. She yanked the pendant off the fucking neck if I don't buy this logic. It's fucking... <laughs> swear to God. If she was not able to see this person, well, I'd say it'd make no difference where they were standing. Then that means... The attacker was also wearing one of these robes? 
No, because she would still be able to see them. That is impossible, my lord. As the witness already stated earlier, only re residents of the Eldritch Woods are able to see these... <clears throat> Alright. Hear me out. I figured this out. They were both wearing invisible robes. They both... Well... Well, Kira left hers behind on accident. She dropped hers. But they both were wearing invisible robes. And I guess fucking Dark Law was doing her dirty or some shit and tried to put her on the blame of it in case something goes south. I'm gonna say you have my thanks. she's I'm using Kira's a scapegoat. Right where this scan in 20 just subscribed. I need a better notification for you guys when you play this game. I have a Discord and I have um if if you follow me, it should come up. I I don't know what else to do for that. I add everybody in Discord. In short, the attacker must have been a witch and must have disappeared from sight with the use of magic. But thank you for the sub. Welcome back. You must mean the great witch Brigella. There is one more thing proving the attacker to be a witch. And just what might that be? The witness has stated that she lost consciousness. All right. If you take a look in the Grand Grimoire, you will notice a spell called Fain Fall. Ha! <laughs> Fain and Fainful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, allow me to ask you. Did you hear the incantation of this spell? Now that you mention it, uh. I do remember hearing something like that. Uh. Say what? Wah. Okay, this complicates your defense. There it is! Painfall causes those who hear the incantation to lose all consciousness! We must not forget, the Great Witch can use any and all magic at will. And including uh, making the game think a lot Pause more than in usual. The game. Ew! <laughs> that looks disgusting. Causes those who hear the incantation to lose all consciousness. Its effect takes hold the second the incantation is heard. That seems important. Instant. Witness! I mean your testimony to reflect this important piece of evidence! Yes, right away. Now it's gonna be really fucked up now, because now she has fucking add shit it's to this to testimony. The the third time. Oh boy, I can't believe she managed to get out of that one! Let's fucking go! But still, I'm not about to give up just yet. I'll keep on going until we finally get to the bottom of who this attacker really is. We can go until 9.30. Now then, let us continue the interrogation. I meet everybody halfway. <laughs> I just want to relax a little bit before I, I pass out. Incantation for painful before I could even turn. Okay, so this is a modified version of the first statement, which is what made her attempt to turn around. I'm gonna press it. Yeah. Hold it. We only got three more left. You heard the incantation. Are you absolutely sure about that? Yes. Y yes. There is no mistaking it. Okay, well that... That still doesn't make any sense. That still doesn't make any sense. Why? It's an instant sleep cast. How does she grab the pendant then? Therein lies the contradiction. I mean, it's, if she's saying that that, uh, that that spell was used first before she grabbed the pendant... No, it doesn't hold water. Yeah. Yeah. The attacker used magic to vanish from sight, went up the stairs, and then rendered the witness unconscious. Also with magic, clearly this must be the work of none other than the great witch Bazella. It is no mere coincidence that the attacker was able to use such spells. This is certainly no ordinary witch. But wait, where are you? I can't deal with Darklaw anymore. Afterwards, the witness's attacker carried her off. Naturally, that would require the use of both hands. One would think. Both hands, I am 
In other words, the witch would not have been able to hold a Talia Magica. <laughs> oh, so she's just super implying that it's going to be Bazella doing this. Right, and the only witch that doesn't need a scepter like that is... Bazella. I see you have somehow managed to get that through your thick skull, Defender. Very well. Continue, Witness. Yes. Okay. So, I'm gonna read this again. I heard the incantation for Fainfall and before I could even turn around. That should be the end of the testimony. But we get all this afterwards. Now the question is, where do I press it? <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, office, yeah, so. that... I'm gonna say here, because anything after that first statement is, yeah, is wrong. Be... Yeah. Alright. Oh, fucking... See, instant sleep Whip spell there. causes those who hear the incantation to lose all consciousness, and its effect takes hold the second it's heard. Objection. Are you kidding me? It must have been on the previous statement. It must have been the previous statement! So you think... The th the point where she says it? Yeah. Yep. It's like, you ain't turning around, you're gone, girl. Turn around. I guess because she uses the, the actual word, you have to present it there. Objection! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is like, no, 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 no. Shut up. Miss Kira, I have watched you at that witness stand this entire trial. You're a very bad Desperately bad. trying to keep something hidden from the rest of this court. You know how to read. Girl, you are... <laughs> I wonder if you're familiar with the saying, a lie begets more lies. Yeah, truth be told, this is pretty much the most like, okay, girl, you're losing your touch. It means multiple lies are bound to unravel and leave your story with more holes and Swiss cheese. Get Swiss. to the point, Defender. According to the Grand Grimoire, Fainful causes a person to lose all consciousness. It's written here in black and white. Its effect takes hold the second the incantation is heard. Kira, you testified as follows. You heard the incantation for Fainfall and immediately became aware of the presence of your attacker. You then put up a fight. But if you really did hear the incantation... There's no way you would have been able to yank that pendant from your assailant. Boop, stupid bitch. bitch. Ugh, the game, the game is having a conniption tonight. I don't. It is. Maybe because I didn't update my 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 driver. It, it, it updated yesterday during raids, and I forgot to do it. Oh no! Oh no! What is the meaning of this? The meaning is that Miss Kira didn't actually hear the incantation like she claims she did. But thing one, why on earth was this girl unconscious? Kira was definitely knocked out by whoever attacked her. And when she woke up, she found herself up on the top floor of the bell tower. It's it's possible Miss Kira was rendered unconscious by. Another witch. Mm. Yeah. Well, what if I told you there was another witch present? Please let that be right, because if we're going with the Bazello oh. thing, this has got to be right. Please let this be right. Please, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. No. Are you kidding me? Did I fuck it up? No. <sighs> And do you explain to the court this brilliant theory of yours, Defender? Yeah, no, I think it's wrong. It's super fucking wrong. Ah! To be honest with you, I was kind of hoping everyone would start to help me fill the blank. Okay, so it's not the Bazella route. Okay, good. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah, just, just, just let it. Yeah, this ridiculous excuse for an argument is yours and yours alone. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. My pants no, are I on, Maya. Live. Shut up. Oh, she woke up. She found herself up on top floor. Something other than magic. Yeah. Oh, 
Torpor. Was it here? Is, it, is there is there chloroform hmm. here? Flower. The answer here is obvious. Something other than magic must have knocked her out. Objection. It did cover up her mouth after all. That's true. And what, may I ask, makes you so certain? Oh, bleh. and of that, may I ask, what makes you so certain of that? Is it not possible that another spell could have been used? Objection. That's just not possible. You of all people should know that. What? Miss Kira's claim that she heard someone say the incantation is completely false. Even so? What wouldn't be too much of a problem if she actually had heard an incantation? But not that incantation. It's probably a mirror. <laughs> hmm? There. That, that's right! However, going by our testimony, I can't have... That, that can't have been the case. The only spell capable of making someone lose consciousness is Fainful. Isn't that right, High Inquisitor Darklaw? The Defender, are you claiming there is another why besides magic that could have been used to render Miss Kira unconscious? There's only one other thing that crossed my mind. I'm speaking, of course, about sleeping medicine. Oh, yeah. Sleeping medicine? Oh, right, yeah. because of the alchemist. Right, 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 right. Hello, Afon. If you remember, Miss Kira stated that the attacker covered her mouth before she could scream. In doing that, the attacker was able to administer a potent sleep medicine, thus putting Miss Kira out like a light. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. That does make sense. Therefore, Your Honor, the attacker did not necessarily have to be Bazella. I mean, why would an all-powerful being capable of commanding any and all magic need to resort to drugging someone? Objection. It does seem rather petty. Hold it right there, Defender. They managed to sneak past the guards and make their way up into the bell tower. Okay. Clearly, they must have used magic to appear invisible. Uh, and here we you don't need magic to make yourself disappear, High Inquisitor. Throw this on, and getting past those guards at the tower is a piece of cake. The robe of invisibility! Well, I was, I was right on some of this story. <laughs> but, despite all that, there's still one glaring problem. Kira. Ye yes. You admitted to the court earlier that you were attacked from the front, correct? Oh. If that's the case, then there's only one possible conclusion we can draw. Oh, you, Miss Kira, were entirely capable of seeing your attacker's face. Uh-oh. Oh, well, why is that? I, I didn't. It's simple. You even said it yourself. Only residents of the Eldritch Woods are able to see this robe. That means, Miss Kira... There is a piece of this puzzle only you couldn't possibly know. Only you can tell us the identity of the person who entered the bell tower and attacked you tonight. Uh oh. I can't tell you. No matter what happens, I just can't tell you. No matter what. Can't or what? Gee, I wonder what. <laughs> you see, everyone? This witness has been covering up for someone from the very start of this trial. What? But luckily for us, we won't be needing any more of Miss Kira's testimony. Because the answer is staring us right in the face. I'm oh, speaking shit. of, of course, about the true identity of Kira's attacker. All the clues so far point to this one person. Oh fuck, we're going right for it, huh? Defender, I take it you are prepared to prove such a serious accusation. What are we going in there? I am. Alright, looks like it all comes down to this. Now we'll finally see who's been pulling the strings this whole time. 
Ugh. Saving, I only have two left. Which one? This one. The bones, they are in fact hurting. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. At least I'm. At least. At least, you know, I haven't been looking at the walk through Keklamel. <laughs> These two are the only thing left. Also, thank you, Gun. Very well, Devender. Tell the court. Live in on the edge. Who was the one responsible for attacking the witness and locking her up on the top of the floor of the bell tower? It was the fucking cat. They did it. Oh. Circle. The answer is obvious. Can you imagine the cat fucking doing it by itself? Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> the answer is obvious, Your Honor. It was you. High Inquisitor Dark Law. Also, the cat makes more sense if they're related. Oh. What? What? The cat makes more sense now. It's Dark Law's cat. They're siblings. Order! Order of the court! Order! Inconceivable! There's, there's no way. I must say, Defender. Your courage is impressive, however re reckless you may be. Accusing a High Inquisitor is no small feat, I assure you. However, with serious accusations come serious consequences. One small misstep, and, will per and I will personally see that you never set foot in this courtroom ever again. Well, I mean, this is, this is an outside courtroom, so it's fine. I could be in the other courtroom, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> My, how confident. Let us see if that confidence of yours is well justified. Kira's attacker drugged her with sleep medicine. It likely took no more than a few seconds for her to lose consciousness. The medicine must have been very potent. Hmm, true. After all, its effects appear somewhat similar to magic. There's only one person I can think of in all of this, in all of Labyrinthia, who could supply you with that kind of medicine. Sir Newton Belduke. Objection. Defender, you are aware that Sir Belduke has been deceased for over three months now, are you not? Uh huh. That's a fact I'm well aware of. Believe me. While he was still alive, Sir Belduke provided the citizens of this town a variety of medicines for whatever ailed them. But it wasn't just all medicine. He also created some very dangerous concoctions. That's why, after- Yeah, they took all of it. All of his medicines and creations were confiscated. That's right! right. Yeah, man, let's go! I, I remember that real quick. Confiscated? Inquisitor Barnum said as much as in the last witch trial. Oh my god, he's here. I miss him. The victim was an alchemist, after all. We were hoping the items confiscated from his study could provide some clues. Besides, I check. such things must not fall into the wrong hands. It may not be standard practice, but it was deemed necessary. The confiscated goods are stored in our secret vault. The only person with access to them is the High Inquisitor. Lady Darklaw. Oh man, ain't that. He fucking ratted you out and he didn't even know it. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna kill oh. that kid. Objection. He's like, fuck! So, because I have access to the medicine, I must be the one that used it. Yes. Is that what you're getting at, Defender? Yes. That's right. Unfortunately for you, I would hardly call that proof. You said it yourself! Sir Belduc concocted a plethora of dangerous medicines in his efforts to assist the people of the town. He was well known for this fact. A fact that he no doubt was none too pleased with. As such, it is highly likely that those same dangerous substances are still scattered throughout the town. Good point. And therefore, Defender, it is entirely possible that the culprit was able to get their hands on such dangerous medicine. Mm, indeed. Yeah, well, there's still one more thing we can do. 
Long has Sir Berluk's medicine played an active part in maintaining the health of this town's citizens? Especially that, what is it, that one, that Viagra? <laughs> Viagra! There's plenty of reason to believe some of his uh, more dangerous medicines still remain within Labyrinthia. That stuff's potent. There's still one more thing we could check, though. The neck. The neck check, as the kids say. A piece of advice, Defender. Next time you speak in court. I recommend you try procuring some real evidence before spouting such idiotic non-accusations. If you fail to do so, your next words will be uttered to the flames. Figures. I knew she wouldn't take that argument sitting down. <laughs> She'll take it standing up! <laughs> Both High Queen Inquisitor Darklaw and Inquisitor Barnum are very harbingers of justice within Labyrinthia. It's funny considering Barnum's in jail. Raising such an accusation against either one of them without valid reason will result in the most severe of punishments. What does he mean by most severe punishments? I think the judge is saying that if I don't start making a case, we're going to be paying Sir Bell Duke a visit real soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. I need to present some decisive evidence and fast. I'm pretty sure I should be able to do that much. We got the neck check! High Inquisitor Darklaw is the attacker, and the one thing that proves it is... Darklaw, Darklaw herself. herself. Give me that neck check, girl! The defense believes there is one clue here linking High, High Inquisitor Darklaw to the crime. High Inquisitor? That clue is actually still on you right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, on... Me. Rot row. As the kids say, rot row. I must admit, I do not know where you're going with this defender, but please point out this clue to the court. Give me that neck. Oh. Show us this clue, supposedly still oh. on the highest inquisitor's person. Okay. It's a jump screen thing. Gotta do the. Uh... Well, turn around, bitch. Turn around. Give me that neck, girl. Yeah. The, her cravat? The, the High Inquisitor neck? <laughs> you don't mean... Yes, I have a neck fetish. Thank you for noticing, but that's not important right now. Miss Kira yanked this pendant off of her attacker's neck. Take a look at the necklace. It still has a bit of blood left on it. Uh -oh. According to her earlier testimony, when Miss Kira pulled at the necklace... She supposedly felt herself scratch the attacker's neck. You know, if we were in actual court, modern time, we would have checked under Kira's fingernail for, for anything and Darklaw's neck immediately. <laughs> Is that correct, Miss Kira? Y yes Therefore, the attacker should still have a mark on their neck from having been scratched. Because, you know, it just happened like an hour or two ago. Oh! Would you mind letting the court take a look at your neck, High Inquisitor Darklaw? I'm pretty sure that underneath that high collar we'll find exactly the mark we're looking for. Uh oh. Unless, of course, you were able to get rid of it with magic. Uh oh, stinky. Wow, you were just caught in a tight spot, huh, little girl? Oh. Did I die or did my chat die? I think my chat Hello. died. Hunter, did my stream make a poopy? Let me observe. Looks okay. No, it's... yeah, it's fine. Okay, then, then my Twitch chat hello, uh, hey? killed itself. Hi, sweet kitty cat. Most impressive, because it says, Hello, welcome to the chat room. <laughs> what? I have to say, Defender, you've managed to finally hone that doll blade of yours into something of use. You are correct. There is, in fact, a mark on my neck that I did receive tonight. Oh. What? Oh. What? No, it's, it's just it, I, it It disconnected me from the Twitch chat. What is the meaning of this? Does that mean they did not know? Gravy? Mommy, hold my hand. 
Your Honor? I know you're a little hot. Let me turn this off for you. Yes, yes, I see you're still there, Here, Defender. Yeah, I'm still here. Your Honor, I know you're shocked and everything, but come on, work with me here. No. Your Honor, the defense would like to call High Inquisitor Darklaw to the witness stand. What did you say? I like how we made it from the bottom of the barrel to the cream of the crop in a matter of like an hour. Of this fucking yeah. shit. Hour or two or whatever. It's quite clear that the High Inquisitor has some connection with what transpired tonight. And what's more, there is a chance that she used her position of authority as High Inquisitor to frame my client as the Great Witch. But, 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 but never in all my years as judge of this court has an Inquisitor been asked to take the stand in the middle of a trial! Well, we're gonna have to make some history here if we're finally gonna find the truth, Your Honor. Even so... This trial cannot continue any further without an Inquisitor! Oh, well, the speak of the devil, I'm sure Layton's just about to run in. Oh. Hey, um, in that case, how about you get Inquisitor Barn? Inquisitor Barnum remains incarcerated in the underground dungeons for the crime of treason against the storyteller. I don't think he will be able to make it to this party. No way! Most regrettable, Defender. Most beneficial, Throat. This whole thing is hopeless. This is fucking nice. Pacing's really good. Yeah, actually. I like that a lot. That's that's really nice to see, honestly. This whole I would like to see this more in the games, actually. Yeah, in the, in the new ones, yeah, that'd be great. That's this is actually a nice animation for him because that that makes so much sense. This whole thing is yeah. hopeless. Unless High Inquisitor Darklaw takes to the witness in. It's just the little things, right? Just the little things. A spell will be done for, and the truth along with her. But on the other hand, without an Inquisitor on the other side, the trial can't continue, and the outcome would end up the same. What should I do? Hold it. Here's the verses! Uh-oh. Anime cutscene? Yeah! Oh shit! Let's fucking go! I can fill that road. Yeah! Wait, what are you saying? I'm hyped now. I can prove conclusively that Espella Cantabella uh, is in fact the great uh -huh. Spazella. Well, Set it up, uh, boy! Uh, Let's go! Uh, Set it up! Yeah, the setup. Now, Mr. Wright, the time has come at last. To settle this once and for all. Oh, this is gonna be a fun fight. Bro, bro, he set it up! He set it up! For the professor to show up. If there was anyone who could find some decisive evidence to win this thing, it was him. However, he ended up standing behind the Inquisitor's bench. The professor wasn't on our side here. Oh, he is, but not Actually, the way you he think. I had to wonder what the heck was going to happen. Sorry, I, I get really excited with stuff like this. Well, it's a good thing that you, you know. Oh, it's a good thing we pushed. Yeah. I was gonna say, we did I, it. I, I, I peeped ahead. It's like, are we getting close to two beacons? Is this the last part here? Uh. Do you think we can finish it by next week? Let me see. Next Tuesday? You think we can finish it next Tuesday? Because I kind of want to take a week of... off after that, and then we'll start Apollo. Ooh. There is an mm -hmm. epilogue thing, but so, yeah, probably. <sighs> It's just, it's just, it's just, uh, talking. We've got, like, three more Actually. testimonies to go through, and I don't know how much story. Well, well, it was, you can see, the testimonies are fucking large, so it doesn't matter. Professor. Alright. Yes. What are you doing? We're done. Yes, we are. Oh, we're calling it here? Yes, yes. we are calling it here. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh... Go over time next time, time, though. Uh, next time on... Dragon Ball. We'll see because I think I've, I I think I work next Wednesday too. They pick Wednesdays for some weird fucking reason. How unfortunate. They they can't well, they can't pick like Thursdays or something. Well, I'm working. I'd probably be working Wednesday anyway. Uh, 
my work schedule is either user is it's supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, but they usually <laughs> the, most of the time they've had me working two days a week, which is usually what. Wednesday, Saturday. No, I mean, I, I have to go to bed early tonight as well. Again, that's so we can't work, that's so fine. we can't do it late, I'm which is also which I also woke means up next week. Super early this morning to take my cat to the vet, so I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. Yeah, we started at like six Eastern, and we always start six Eastern here. We might be a couple minutes late because of scuff or something, but uh, it's usually between six and seven. We usually start. Yes. But I do that have work tomorrow. That would be 5 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. Uh, I don't fucking know on the west. Or other one. Honestly, if I didn't have work tomorrow, I would push for another half hour. But um, we're not going well, to. We won't be able to. Uh, I think because... it's more likely you have an hour left anyways. No. It's fine. It's whatever. All right. So next week... May or may not be the last stream of Layton and Phoenix Wright. My may or goodness. may not. It feels like we've been playing this game forever. I, I, I uploaded all the videos uh, for, for YouTube. They're going to be coming up soon. Uh, I believe there's like a million parts. I think we're on like part 17 or something now. I feel like this has been longer than a lot of the other Ace Attorney games. Ugh. Uh, I would like to send a Terminator back in time. To whoever suggested this fucking game. Hi. How you doing? Uh, you want to kill Sky? Wow. Why did you do that? Uh, because I needed money. That was, that's the answer. <laughs> All right, fine. You know Fair what? enough. That's, that's actually an understandable. That's that so. That's so valid. And I might. Actually and valid. I might have to do another thing for more money because I'm only working one day a week because of this fucking pay cut shit. So. I was hoping to at least work two days a week like I did last week, but. Well, not the week before, but now nah. <laughs> it's a lot of weird shit going on. So I and I and I also work only one day a week the week after too. So it's great, and I still got to pay my internet bill and stuff. So, all right. With that being said, though, uh, tomorrow we continue Pokemon Fusion. Uh, we'll do a bit more of that. I will grind a little bit of the Mons. I did do a bunch the one day, but I'll grind a bit more of the others. Uh, and Friday, uh, Thursday's also Fusion. Friday will be more P12S. We'll see if we can see Pan Genesis for real and God and see how that works. We probably won't be able to get past it, but it'd be nice to actually see it with everybody present. So, uh, that's it. That's the plans for the rest of the week. Um, thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it. If you want more of this, I will see you next Tuesday for more of this. If not, I will see you guys when I see you. So thank you guys for coming out. Be safe tonight. Yeah. Have a great one, and I'll see y'all later. Good night, everybody. Hearto. Good night, everybody. Good night. Y'all later.